Have you ever uploaded a photo into Cricut Design Space and at the end you notice an option for print to cut? Or if you've been working on a project and you had to switch the operation from print to cut because you didn't know what it was or how to use it? Well, if you got a few minutes, this video is going to explain all you need to know about the print to cut feature and how do you use it so you can start using it in your projects. Now this doesn't work with Android devices. You can use a regular computer or notebook, um, anything like that, or your iPhone or iPad, but it does not work on uh, Android. So with that said, let's jump right into Design Space and start on a project. Now there's a lot of options for print to cut. You can print on regular paper and just use your Cricut to cut it out. If you're trying to make a scrapbook or card, uh, you can get the Avery photo transfers and they make them for white fabrics, light color fabrics, and dark color fabrics as well as pillowcases and that kind of thing that doesn't get washed as much. And they also have printable vinyl if you want to make a sticker or that kind of thing. So with that said, today we're going to be making a t-shirt using the Avery photo transfers and it's going to be for a dark t-shirt. So we're going to upload our images that we want first. So we're going to go over here to upload. Now I cheated and already edited out the background in these. Um, so I already have them ready. Uh, you should know how to uh, upload those as well. If you don't, you'll just go to here and choose the image that you have saved. Hit complex. I always hit complex. It gives you the most options. And then you just want to, we're going to cut around this design so it's going to be on a blue t-shirt so we really don't want any of that blue anyway so I'm just going to edit it out all right and we're going to get rid of this border too so it doesn't include that there we go all right doesn't have to be perfect we're going to apply and continue now, if we didn't do print to cut, this is what we're gonna get. We're not even gonna know what that is, you know? So we're gonna do print to cut, upload. I'm gonna have two of these now. <laughs> but, uh, let's go ahead and add these to the canvas. I'm making two t-shirts, so I'm gonna add both of them. All right, now we're in design space. Uh, click that so we can move these around and we're gonna make them for a 4t t-shirt so we don't want to make them too big or too small for that a 4t t-shirt a six design six inch design works pretty well so we're gonna make it under six inches right, so these are sized out how I want them to be and they're both print to cut I'm gonna go ahead and hit make it and these are for a t-shirt. So if you're just doing a sticker or something, you can leave it like this, but if you're transferring it onto fabric or any other materials, then you're wanting to mirror it and it'll make it backwards. But whenever it's transferred onto the t-shirt, it'll read how it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and you can kind of see how it's gonna print. And um, what these lines are right here, these are the the guidelines for your Cricut right here and that's why it we took the border out but it added these in so your Cricut machine after it prints is gonna be scanning for these lines on the mat and that's how it's gonna line up and be able to cut the rest of it out so those lines are important that's why it doesn't really work on uh, too well on pattern paper or colored paper or the um, anything that's too dark to print then the Cricut might have trouble with it. So keep that in mind too. But these are white sheets, so we have nothing to worry about. So now I did have, to, it's not recommended. It's uh, recommended to you do the print them and do the cut all in the same browser in the same session. But I didn't have an inkjet printer. I only have a laser printer right now. So I had to do it separately. And yes, you do have to use an inkjet printer it doesn't work with the laser printer. So I guess if you're just doing a scrapbook or something, it doesn't matter. So if you're doing a Cinda printer, if you haven't printed, I've already printed, so I can just hit this right here. 
and we're going to select our base material we're going to browse all materials and we're going to see let's see we have uh, iron on so let's see what they here have here we go principal iron on dark that's what we want that's what the closest we have okay oh it's almost finished it says it's 100% finished but it's not you see it working behind me. Make this a little bit bigger. So we're about to see how it turns out. It messed up. If it cut something that it didn't supposed to, or if it's exactly what it is supposed to and turns out. There's our cue. Let's see. So here's the final result from print then cut. You can see the lines that the Cricut cut. So whenever we go and apply this, these are Avery sheets. We just gonna peel this back off and all that white is gonna be gone like that. That way it doesn't transfer onto the t-shirt with the rest of the design and leave that little faded square after applying it. So it gives you a more of a professional look. You can also use print and cut for stickers, scrapbooking. So that's all there is left to do on this is to put it on whatever material you're using and finish your project. So if you have any questions uh, about using print to cut or if I left something out or maybe a, something's confusing, then please drop it in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out and answer. And hope you all enjoyed the video. Learned something new. Y'all have a good rest of your day.